Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video we will see how to export a CAD model into a DXF or DWG file. Uh, so in this tutorial I will be using a SOLIDWORKS software to export the file. The DXF and DWG files are mostly used in the CNC machines for cutting and bending operations performed on the sheet metal parts. So let's begin this tutorial. To begin with, let's enter the part modeling environment. And here, uh, I'll be creating a new sheet metal component, and then try to export the file into a DXF file, and then I'll try to open up in the AutoCAD software or any DXF opener uh, viewer software which you are having or installed in your system. So here, uh, I'll open up the sheet metal environment, and then let's start with the base flange. Let's try to dimension these. I will Keep all the parameters such as thickness, K factor, and uh, relief options as default. So, here the thickness of the sheet metal is 0 0.80 mm. So, let us create another feature which is edge flange to create the side walls. Alright, let's cl click on OK. And then uh, let me try to create some corner trims. And add a fillet to the corners. Alright. So next step I'll do is I'll try to create a jog. Let me take a line and in the job command I need to select one fixed surface. I'll select this as a fixed surface and this is the direction where I want the job and this is the length I want or you can say the height. And the rest values as I uh, have kept the default as a default radius, which is 0.73. So all the radius in the sheet metal will be 0.73. Else you can also change the radius value. I'll try to move the corner command down so that I can also edit uh, and add these two edges and include these two edges and also apply the fillet over here. Now I want to next uh, create a cut on the bended side so I will try to unfold it and then I will place a shape so this shape will act as a cut on the sheet metal part alright next step is I will unfold the sheet I'll select a fixed space and then click on collect all bends so all the bends will be collected and this is my folded part all right so let's next let me add some holes I'll go to simple hole click on the surface and uh, manually click on where you want to place so in reality like if you want to place it 
own exact dimension value so you can create a sketch on uh, the surface or you can create a point and then directly click on the point where you want to place the hole and just click on ok that's it so this is my final sheet metal component So before exporting the model, I want to make sure that I have the proper settings in my options. So I'll click on options, tool and options. I need to browse down. To the export option here on the file format, you need to click on DXF and DWG. Now here these are the options, few options you can which you can see like which version of uh, AutoCAD you want to export or what font you need like it is an AutoCAD format font or any other and here is an important tool like always make sure that you enable click on this enable option. What is this map file? Map file is nothing but an option to create layers while exporting to DXF or DWG now these layers can act as uh, a different line style suppose in geometry you want to have a different line style and on the bend lines you want to have a different line style the line style can be uh, of different color of or different type so for that let's uh, I'll explain you these steps in the later uh, tutorial part So simply click on the model, right click and go to export and here I have created a folder so I'll just click on uh, the part, the folder and then the part name and then simply click on save. Now here you can see the option. So here I want to export a sheet metal file. right? So I need to click on the sheet metal and then what you need to export so you need to export the geometry and i also want to export the bend lines if you also want to export the sketches hidden lines or other forming tools bonding box etc so you can click on those options so in this tutorial i'll show you how to export geometry and bend lines so even you can also change the output alignment the x and y direction I'll click on OK. Now here it is. So this is the option which I was talking about. The layer option. So this option, you will only get this option when you have enabled uh, the checkbox in the tools options command. Now here you can create layers. If you haven't created a layer by default, layer will be selected and it will be created now if you want to separate like my bend lines which is going in up direction will have a separate line style as well as color so I can select like this is a geometry bend up bend down now here you can select like if there is a line which is bent going in down direction it will be shown in red color bend up will be shown in green color and the geometry will be shown in blue color now here separately you can also select the line style which you want it should be thick it should be hidden or it should be a center line so based on that like you can select the line style over here
now you have defined the layers now next you need to define the layers on your current model so first you will select the layer which you want so this is the geometry layer so i'll click on the geometry layer and by default it is by layer means so geometry will have a visible line font otherwise you can also overwrite the default values and here i will select as entity will be as geometry so all the geometry entities will be having a thick font which is blue in color so here i will select the layer bend up so the bend up will have a green font green color and the, the font will be hidden font so likewise i will select all of them and then if you want to save the default layers you can also click on save map file and then enter any file name suppose here i have entered abc and click on okay now if you go to tools and option you you will find so this was the option which i was talking about custom map so i have set as abc and you can easily find that you will find this abc file name mentioned here now previously it was showing blank all right let's go back okay now click on okay as you can see the green red and the blue so this is based on the layers which you have provided if you don't want the layer simply you can you, you, there is no need to create a separate layer just click on okay and by default everything will be created uh, in black or blue depending on what is there in the default option if you want to remove any unnecessary entities just click on remove entities and then click on save now i'll try to show you uh, the dxf file which is just now exported i'll try to open up and here it is so this is the dxf file which is exported by the solid works software which has the required layers in it hope you guys have got a clear understanding on how to export a file into dxf or dwg thank you so much for watching this if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and share and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more informative videos in my channel thank you